sun max in my eyeballs. <laughs> that was so J. Dyer, bro. That's just so bad. Enjoying a nice cup of butter coffee on this lovely Tuesday morning. And I know I'm not supposed to be doing a video. It's supposed to be a, like a journaling thing. But, you know, I've been on this, this journey of... I've been reading The Way of the Superior Man, David Data. And... You know, thinking about, you know, penetrating the world and living on the edge. Um, bringing your gift truly and fully and, and discovering that gift. And right, and the idea, like uh, Hamza Ahmed from uh, YouTube, his idea is like, get in a room. Or I don't know if it's his idea, but go into a room, do like a vision retreat, shut yourself in the room for like three days. No devices, you journal, stare at the wall. <laughs> What is my gift? Well, I've been like sitting here staring at the sun because I've been on that Andrew Huberman sun maxing in the morning. And, uh, and it's like, well, I really like teaching. I really like language. I like history. Storytelling, right? Telling stories. Okay, what do we tell stories for? Why do we tell stories? We tell stories to discover who and what and why we are who and what and why we are. If we can learn to retell our own story, if we can learn, you know, this is neuroplasticity too, right? Like you're, you're rewiring your brain. When we learn to retell our own story in light of who and what and why we are, perhaps things we're coming to know, perhaps ideals we're coming to realize perhaps virtues that we're coming to acquire passions that we're beginning to sublimate that the sublimation of the passions is is simply the taking of these energies all these energies coursing through us to and fro and towards various perhaps vices and towards perhaps various destructive tendencies and we take these and we redirect them towards holy purposes, towards virtuous purposes, towards good purposes, towards the heavenly realm, towards becoming a man who is unified with God. And if you're unified with God, you're unified with the universe, you're unified with your fellow man, you're unified with yourself, you are one. Right? And so, you know, people in the East, they, they were really onto something, right? Of course, we know that to be one it's to be one with a person and it's to be one with Jesus who is the logos who is the reason that holds all things together so there's our meta narrative there's our grand story and then how do I then fit into that meta narrative how does my little story fit into the grand story of the sun that rises the sun that sets the moon that rises the night that falls the day that dawns the rest the work and so perhaps the idea then is how do I step into this role of a storyteller in helping other people to discover their story, right? That's coaching, man. That's journaling. That's, uh, that's health. That's wellness. That's fitness. Um, Self-improvement, man. <laughs> you can't escape it, can't I? My dad's, uh, uh, my dad's Gary Greeno. He's, uh, he's an author and... Uh, and a coach, a keynote speaker. He's uh, he's all about this stuff, man. It's like, <laughs> and he's a pastor too, so it, he's a spiritual leader as well. And it's just, yeah, it's just fascinating, man. Great light in there. The sun is really coming up now. Here in Indiana, you know, just just to stand, just to rest, just to be still, just to be aware. Like I'm on this ground, I am on this land. This is where I am. You know, your phone, I got my phone in my hand, right? <laughs> but, but to not have it, right? To, to not even think about it, not even have it. Because if you have it, you're thinking about it subconsciously. But to just stand there, to recognize, to be aware, um, to be thankful, to be grateful, to be fulfilled. And to say, you know, you know this is my purpose. I'm fulfilling my purpose. I, you know, the, the scripture talks about bringing many sons to glory. 
So if I can participate in bringing many sons to glory, we don't even realize that we're sons of glory. We don't realize what it means to be virtuous, what it, what it means to be chiseled, what it means to be smelted in the fire. Have we brought any fire into our lives? Have we brought any pressure into our own lives? Or does the pressure come from our fucking wives and our, the women? Come on, bro. You're twisting around the masculine and the feminine. You're being a little bitch, bro. That's what you're being. I'm sorry to say it like that. It sounds terrible. But it's true. You got to flip that around and put the pressure on yourself. Find your vision. Find your purpose. Find your mission. Who, what, and why you are. Peace out. Thank you.